Hello viewers, welcome to special site. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do cut fill estimation in QGIS. So actually, I have this uh, game data and there is a pond. And what uh, the objective of today's tutorial is to find how much volume of module we require to fill this pond. And this is today's our objective. And we are going to find the volume that will be required to fill this pond so to do this what we are going to do is we are going to do the cut fill estimation of this area so for this you need to uh, make sure of three things first first make sure that uh, this your data this dim data is in projected coordinate system simply double left click here and go to information and if you go to this uh, coordinate reference system and you can see here in this name I don't just set it for slash 44 zone 44 north so this data is in 44 north and another thing is um, make sure the data that you have uh, to do volumetric analysis is uh, from uh, drone data or high resolution data I mean to say that uh, you can see a pixel size is uh, 0.06 something this is in meter and if it was from that uh, satellite data then that would have been from 10 to well you could have seen here so make sure this uh, your raster this raster data is of high resolution then only you can get the high more precise uh, volumetric result and a uh, third thing that you need to do is make sure that uh, you only have the required desired area of interest so what i mean to say is that if this is the point is my area of interest now you need to click this feature and remove all uh, and remove this feature and that would make the analysis more easier so for that you can do a few things uh, you can go to this layer styling and you can change its uh, visualization like uh, you could have uh, selected that this hill set and from here now you it becomes easier to do analysis you can easily see these portions this and this are in higher elevation region if you are not sure of this thing just press ctrl shift i and just left click here you can see here it's 53 meter and this one is also 54 but just click it here it's 48 and this is and this region is 47 48 and similar this is 48 this one is 46 so this is a point and i want to clip only this area of interest so for that what i am going to do is i'm just uh, first i'm going to create a boundary uh polygon boundary i'm going to create and i'm going to clip this uh, raster with that boundary so for that uh you simply you need to go to layer just go to create layer and new save file and in save file you need to give the this file name just uh, click this three dot icons once you click that uh, three dot icon just go to this uh okay I'll just go here let's say it's uh, and geometry type this is the most important thing here just give it a uh, polygon okay now this coordinate system 44 north and fill in other things you don't need to do anything just click ok and just uh, we got the boundary just select it and just click this uh, toggle editing left click it once you do that we need to add now we need to add some feature here so for that you just click this uh, add polygon feature so just uh, left click this icon okay now we are done with that now you need to be aware here now just click that uh, select that portion that you need okay just uh, so for that for this analysis i want to fill uh, i want to fill this point so that i'm going to select the region from where I want to make this label a surface equal so I'm going to go from here just select it okay let's give it some ID okay once you are done it just don't forget to save it then just uh, close that toggle editing mode okay uh, we are done with this now we are going to click this raster with this boundary okay 
So for that, just go to raster, then go to extraction and raster, clip raster by max layer. Just click it there. Input layer, this will be this raster layer and in max layer, this will be this boundary. Okay, these two things are awesome. Our board uh, two data are in WGS8444 North, so we don't need to do anything else. Simply you go to just go and save this. Go to save to file. Once you are done with that, just go here and just give it a name. Like uh, previously, I had already made this uh, data. Just give it a name. Once you give it name, just save it and just click on and click on this run. Just close it. Okay. Now you can see here. Okay, you got this data. So first, you need to go to your processing toolbar. Just right click this uh, empty space, then you can see here processing toolbox panel. Just tick it, and once you go there, you can simply go here and simply search here. Raster surface volume. Simply hit it, and under raster analysis, you are going to see this. Just double left click it now you need to determine this base level now this is an important part this uh, base level means uh, which is the reference level from where you want to fill this uh, uh, raster dam so I want to make it a bit more clarifying so for that I am going to go on this uh, terrain profile tool Initially, just uh, I want to make this thing more clear so that only I'm going here. Uh, just add layer, and by default, uh, what is your raster layer? You are going to get that. Just let's uh, draw a line, just simply click here and just double left click here. So now, I want, what I want to say is suppose you have this, and you can notice there uh, here. The maximum elevation is 48.926 uh, and the lowest elevation here is uh, this 37 you can see this 47.6 is just uh, see that vertical line on left portion that is the elevation and this horizontal line with this x axis is the distance so this is called vertical profile and what i want to say is suppose let's say okay uh you can see some value here 48.904 suppose this is the highest elevation of uh, this vertical line and if you select this as base level then from from this portion below all surface are going to be filled so if you want to do that uh, field analysis then choose the portion from which region you want to fill it so basically what we do is we just uh, choose the highest elevation what i mean to say is just go to this information tab and you can see here in this uh, statistics maximum value the highest elevation is this one and the minimum value the lowest elevation is this one if you want to do the fill analysis you want to fill certain portion certain hole like pond then select this maximum value i'm simply going to uh, double click this i had double left click this and i'll be uh, pressing ctrl c i have copied this and if you will select that higher region the highest uh, elevation region is the base level then from that level the below all portions will be filled i hope you are understanding what i mean to say again uh, let's open where we were previously okay we were here so in input here we already have uh, selected this so base level i will be pasting that value which i had copied uh, 
previously so now once uh, these all things are done I have choose this base level as this and now I need to choose the method is count only below base level you need to be very careful in these two options you choose the base level wisely and once you choose the base level and choose the method wisely count only below base level what this does is that you choose the base level is the highest elevation region and the count only below base level means the from below that region to the lowest point this region all the pixels will be counted and those pixels elevation and area will be counted and that elevation will be multiplied by those pixel sizes and you are going to get the volume so for this field estimation you need to do this suppose if you were to cut certain region what I suggest here to just choose this base level is the lowest elevation region 46 by something that you are seeing here just give it here and here count only above base level and you need to choose that option and from there the stock file or whatever aggregated things are there from that uh, the lowest region to the topest region they are going to be removed from there so for this uh, analysis you are going to do adjust these two settings these two are the most important part and now another thing is surface volume report so where you are going to get the report just simply click here just go to safety file and uh, just go to your output where you want to save and just give it name and you are going to see that in html file you can also save this uh, output in save file from this Okay, now once you give this uh, two parameters now simply just click run okay here some kind of error is showing you don't need to care about that thing and you can see here the volume and pixel count we are going to see that thing from here now just uh, double left click that and now you can see here pixel count the total number of pixels that have been counted is uh, this much you can see from here and the area the total surface area is this meter square and the volume is uh, this 4486 point something meter cube this is in meter cube uh, this is in negative because uh, this is field estimation so it has come in negative and we took it from below that base level so okay that's the first uh, output and another is has come in this .dbf format just click and drag it here and you can just simply say it's uh, attributable and you can notice these things it is in vector format so this is how volumetric analysis is done in QGIS I hope you got the point what I mean to say uh, so uh, thank you viewers for watching the watching this video we're going to meet soon in other upcoming videos 